Hyper Productions presents Oxel Kings of Leon, Kanye West, Deep Doherty, Daft Punk, A Massive Dance Tech, Brian Kennedy, Oxel Tickets 90 euros, no room, no refund, it's gonna be dangerous. Oxel So I had 4 kgs of hash left to sell. You know, if I don't get rid of that within a week, the Paranormal Street Dragons are gonna be coming for my balls. And there's no one left around Castletown. So the only viable option is to throw on a music festival, you know? If you build it, they'll come. Kings of Leon are gonna be there. Daft Punk. The real job, is it? Kanye West gonna be there. But the thing about this, I don't want to be going with the birds, you know what I'm saying? Because they'd be talking shite to us. Leave them at home. Even though myself and Eddie both have women, you know, we decided this trip is only for the lads. There's no women involved, just two boys, best mates, drinking. Apparently Jedward are going to come down, but they're going to get ran. What was that? What was that? Fucking no, hell. What are you doing? You might need to touch a Ron seal on the gate after that one, yeah. boys. Yeah, give you a bit of Ron seal. Sure. Hey! Yeah, come hey. on! Do Who is he? Go? I'll go, man. Who is he? Calm down, man! It's me, fucking Terry. Sorry? Terry? Terry, my brother. Really? You have a brother? I have a brother called Terry Durkin, yeah. It's ruined. You ruined the wall. I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Sorry, don't cut it in this world, son. How many son. times do you want to sorry, say it? Sorry, don't cut it in this it. world, son. No, shake hands. Tell do you. Look, I'm sorry. How many times do I have to say it? I mean it. It was an accident. And he tried to do a handbrake and he fucked that up. He fucked my wall up and he fucked the car up. Leave him Jeez. be. Is this for the right in the head, is Don't he? worry. Come on. Jesus Christ, Eddie. He never told me you had a fucking girlfriend. It's fucking weird how Terry just lands back after 10 years and like he went completely bye-byes there. It's a long time to not tick somebody. Should picture this, boys, right? There I am in this bar in Sydney. It's bar. Two blonde beach birds. Yeah. Right? Hanging off me. Yeah. What happened then? I showed a jealousy. The pants went missing. There was walking around the gaff the whole lot, jangling them out like a chain on a grunge's wallet. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the bed in there for as long as you need it. Just till I get back on my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother's right. Like, Just like... It's my house, like, throw me a few quid, like, and he hasn't paid me in six months, so, I mean... So why would you pay this old smelly fool? Mates are mates. You have to look at me there saying I'd pay me. I'm only joking. I'm only cod. No, 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 no. I'm only cod. 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 I'm I'm fucking parched. Yeah? Yeah. So what you want a few saucies? Full Irish job. Of course I would, a horse. Yeah. Here, if you're getting saucies, get the clan of kilty ones, Buzz, will ya? Yeah. The big ones. Man. Cheers, Buzz. See you, man. Take care. man. That man. He's a good lad, isn't he, man? He's not bad. He's not bad. But here, it's about me and you being back together. Like the like good old days. Hey, once we get these drugs shifted to the festival, we are going to be out of Chinatown. I'm pretty excited. Never been to a festival before. Tell me this, what is the fan to lad ratio? I'd say it's going to be weighted 70-30 in the favour of the lad. That's smart, because when lads are depressed, they take more drugs. I know, I know, personally. But, uh, you might be able to find yourself a new little squeeze at the festival. The fuck is that meant to mean, man? I have a girlfriend. She's just a bit confused at the moment with another lad. Schlinging all that hash down the festival is not gonna be easy, man, so I'm promoting this new guy, Shady Ganley. Ganley, uh. I need you to sell as well. Are you ready for the fucking challenge? Why are you asking me fucking sell the towel for, man? You know what I mean, man? Guy's a mystery man, you know? The rumour around the town is that he was raised by crows. Sit down and talk about making a fucking enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Woke up in Bondi Beach. My face was burnt to bits. Lying beside the smoker from Leash. With her big sunburnt. We were in a band in the old days when we were kids. We were famous around town. Well, it was me who started. The boys were pricking around for a couple of years. Yeah. I came in then, had a few connections in some of the pubs and nightclubs. I would have known a few boys. Yeah. Last gig was something about a mullet, the Heritage Day or something. And we seen that bird. Do you remember that fucking bird that you talked for six months about going to the Debs? And you waited, you pussied out and you waited till the evening of the Debs and arrives up at the door 40 minutes before the Debs inspects her to go and she's there with another fella. Arrives down, she's there with another fella. I'm not yeah, breaking it's but... funny, man. It's, it's a funny right. story, man. Do you know what it is? Tonight. Did you hear the look the inside? You hear that? Tonight. Get it off! What are you doing, man? You're long enough. No, fucking, in my house. It's about to fucking let rip. You won't be farting on my house, horse. What's what the about? fuck is wrong with you? I got town getting sausages like a prick. Buzz, we got the band back together again. I thought you'd be happy. The Dirk and Bros band back together. The Dirk and Bros is a back together. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, should let me call the boy. Simon Cowell. Who's Simon? Yeah, the boys are back together. 
fucking gun. Hey, what are you doing? You're fucking 12. He hung up with me. Is that my can? You know, it's my can. It's there for fucking. Or don't be tight, man. They're there for my life. Give me the hey, fucking thing. Hey, hey, hey. You might go away. back to Australia. You might be going back to Australia. Hey, you think? Come on now, fellas. That's what I think of you, right? Terry, nice one, man. Yeah. You yeah. fucking chased him away again. Don't come yeah. back to this house, you, with that mood. I came back to the house, all sound. I cancelled them. I had a good story to tell them, too. Why, is there something wrong, is there? Well, it just looks like you're a bit touchy about everything. Not at all, no, I'm sound, I'm in good form. I come back with cans, you're like, how could it be bad form drinking? He started on me cans. Imagine if I go back to your house. Yeah, Daft Punk, Kanye West, Kings of Leon, Pete Doherty, Brian Kennedy. You know, I put all these names on the poster just to sell the fucking tickets. Yeah, 11850. How are you getting on? I'm just wondering if you have the number for the, uh, the Kings of Leon. You don't? No reply off the Kings of Leon boys anyway. They're probably out cutting silage or something, you know? Daft Punk, do you know who they are? No. Do you know if Brian Kennedy's available? He is. Brian Kennedy, yes. Socks, 10 tickets for sale here, one at a time. I'll have the cash ready. Get in the roll up. 20 quid. Come on. Can you bring drinks for me? You can, it's going to be fucking mental. Like. Daft Punk probably be in for a bit. Uh, Brian Kennedy is confirmed. Who's playing? Uh, we've got Brian Kennedy. And Daft Punk, are they definitely going to be oh, there? Oh, yes, 100%. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Just doing a bit DIY, you know, because of, you know, a pure relax of the brain. Well, can I come in? You know, you just I heard you're feeling it's, uh, you're feeling a bit isolated. Huh? You're feeling a bit isolated. It's all over Facebook. There's yeah. even people Snapchatting about it. You serious? Yeah. Who? It's young ones. They're younger than us. Do I know them? Up and coming fuckers. Man, in, let's talk about it. Yeah. Terry is enough wank job. What I'm seeing here and what I'm hearing in town is Terry is fulfilling some role that you used to play with with Eddie. Yeah. And you're jealous. Your mind is spooked. Who are you, Dr. Phil? So no, the only one I'm jealous of this world is Tom Jones. The only why? man in the world, because he's fucking a good singer and he's got loads of birds. You need to go into town, show there's nothing strange, be in good form, and they'll, like, no trouble will happen. Maybe I was getting a bit jealous of Terry and Eddie, you know, because I'm a human being, Eddie's my best mate. And he strolls in there like an old swan, going, cock a doodle doo, I'm here to take your mate away. And fucking lunatic here, punched him in the jaw. Why Straight, you punch him in the jaw, man? Straight to the larynx. Couldn't even fucking talk or nothing. Are you serious? I think he knew well who it was getting out the car. He gave some shot to the jaw. Shake it out. Shake yeah. it out. The private will be all right. Hey, oh, hey. here, hey. And in fairness to Terry now, he did seem a bit sorry in it, and he did apologise to me, so, so power to him. I didn't mean to give you a scare because I could see you were startled. You're looking at me like I had ten heads. Sorry about the slap, right? No, it's all right. We're all good, though, yeah? There's yeah, no yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, see, see you in a while. Ah, but you're listening. Once a prick, always a prick. What's the call this fella again at school? Gunk. The skunk. Why was that? Because yeah, yeah. he shied himself on the school bus home. Do you remember? Oh, everyone thought, real everyone thought it was a bus driver and they had a mean getting a medlock. The bag, <laughs> the bag is shied off you. Ready of fibre. He counts in fibre. He's on uh, them points of Guinness. The skunk. We do, man. Get us a burger, will you? This guy is good. Why did you not tell us about him? Bullying, what are you all about? A bit of fucking place. bullying. Frank. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of banter. It's part of the code of the uni lad Bible thing. Everyone's, you're supposed to be wankers to each other, man. That's the uni lad That's fucking credo. Day before the festival hits us, and I've no lineup, man. I've sold a rake of tickets, like. But by, I've 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 Get him, get him, get him. Good news from okay. outside. Right. Um, Eddie Durkin's brother is back in town, and they're starting up the new band again. Good. How much will they be? Fuck all, because they're shit. Will you give them the news that they're books? <laughs> Disengage. <laughs> if your feet are like eagles' talents. Oh, what's that? It was a scrubby shower. That's not mine, you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Tuna, it's in your bag. I've had yeah. it already. Harmonica. Harmonica, I have that. Oh, all right, boys. Man, boys. Boys. You long up? The plan anyway is to get the tickets. Yeah. Well, we have tickets already, like. Oh, nice one. VIP jobs. Oh, cool. Let's see if we go into town, so. Ah. Uh, there's only, there's only two. We can only get two from the Viper, because we're playing like, and they can only get, get us two, but... All right. Cheeky fucker got tickets for himself and Eddie off the Viper, and then I had to go on my own. Do you have everything for this now? Yeah, I do. You can't fuck this up. There's money to be made here. Yeah, sure you have everything yeah, packed? Yeah, I have everything. How are you, Patty? Come here, that fucking, that bug is gone. If Terry and Eddie want to go to the festival together, then I'll have my own plan B. I'll bring fucking Patty May. She's the perfect plan B. She's number one when it comes to plan B for me. No, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you, I'll get you in, don't worry. I'll buy you a pint as well. You will. Good on ya. You. you gotta look Dublin. 
Shame you're finally here for Buzz in Dublin and we just arrived at the festival and yeah. what the fuck? Is this it? Let's get someone at Buzz in Dublin just to have a word with uh, the organizers because it doesn't look like this place can hold 15,000 people. <laughs> Summarize here. I'd organized an illegal festival in a field to sell hash. Me and Shady were just doing the rounds around the fucking field, dealing like, you know? We just got some kids from Foxford to play Deep Purple over and over. <laughs> I think my iPad has been stolen in my tent. Let's stay positive though, we'll see what happens. Hey! How's the boys? What's the crack? Here's the news. Go on. Got a load of babes. Pete Doherty, Kanye West. The punters out there have paid 100 quid a head. I've told them a load of lies. If they say you're not the real deal, fill them full of shite. Are you ready to see Kanye West? We'll make some noise for Kanye! Kanye West, fucking brilliant man. I mean, Kanye West's actual name is obviously on the bill, it's, otherwise we wouldn't be down here. Quite, quite a strange performance, really. Thanks for bringing me, guys. I'm really glad your stomach bug cleared up. Well, I told you, sure. Listen, I was squirting out both sides there for a while, I'm happy I'm over it. Could try and be a bit more romantic. Should I buy you a pint inside? Just Where happy to be here with you. Hey, big time. All that blue one Here's the news. Go on. I want you to replace the Kings of Leac. But well, there is money in wanks in it. Yeah, there's gonna be money in wanks. Yeah, but wanks I, I'll, be, I'll be giving you the money, I won't be providing the wanks like. Right? Wait, I hey, wanks, but no wanks. Brian Kennedy texted, yeah. We might have to pick him up from Fox. I'll pick him up. Yeah. It's, isn't it not more convenient to pick him up down the road? He like? had to change up Manila Junction to get to Belna. So, I mean, Stateside had to go pick him up, you know? Hi, Brian. Oh, Jesus. Uh, are you the driver? Yes. Did you get lost? No. I've been waiting here a while. You're in safe hands. Right. Okay. I'll bring this in with me. Like, how close is the festival? How far away is it? Will you relax, Brian, will you? You'll get there. You have all your fans there. You'll get your fucking money. You'll get everything you're looking for. Look, there's any now. Look at me. Get us in, eh? Can you get us backstage? Huh? Are you connected? Yeah. Eddie, fuck off. Hello? No, oh, it's ringing out. Is that him? It looks like him. Get a burger. Two friends out there that need to come in. I've got no more passes left, Eddie. I fucking told you. Buzz McDonald the party out there now. Buzz McDonald yeah. took my woman. Bollocks. I like the fella. He's like a baby. Listen to your brother. Um, where are we now? Do you want a cup of tea? No, no, sure. I just want to go to the festival. Get out of the car, Brian. We're having a cup of tea. What? Get out of the car. Front door is fucked. Let's come around the back. Okay. The festival? Do you want a drink? No, I'm good, thanks. You sure you can get you a cider, tea, coffee? Well, I'm going to have a drink. <sighs> no one knows your hair, Brian. Just don't, don't ever forget that, man. I'm the only one that knows your hair. What does that mean? Nobody knows your hair. There was an air of dodginess about the place as the evening drew in, you know. People started gravitating towards the dance tent. Shady Ganley was playing some menacing beats. Where have you been? I've been on my own for an hour. Ah, 
are fucking now with the bands, man. Listen to DJ Scoot. Started sculling cans just to forget about the whole mess of the situation, you know. And then I got so pissed that I started taking chats. What have you taken something? I just took some uh, pills. Come on, stand up. Mm -hmm. Just stand up. Stand up. I'd like you to put your hands together for Daft Punk. <laughs> They look like the real deal, man. Do you know what I mean? They, no one could tell the difference. Yeah. It's really there. <laughs> How did you get here today, that pug? With the plane. The aeroplane. And tell me, you worked with Pharrell Williams. What was that like? Yeah, he's nice. The control. Just in my tent at the moment, what? just what hiding. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that piss coming into my tent? Oh, God. Are you fucking serious? Is that actually piss coming into my tent? Kira, please, look. I'm about to go on stage in five minutes. Do you think I want to hear that now, do you? I had to laugh to myself. I seen Eddie on the old dog and bone getting grief from the woman. Don't bother coming down, there's no need. You'd be only wasting your own time. Self and the boys, we're doing the gig, and sure, probably heading home after that then, you know. If you want to be like that, come down. Hey, Eddie, man, give us a call when you get this, please. This is, today's meant to be about me and you, man. Nobody else, right? I fucking love you to bits. Good luck. Buzz, are you taking the fucking piss? The only reason you brought me today was because your best mate fucked you off. No, I can explain, hey. Don't be drinking, got me. Hey, where you after, hey? The thing with Patty, she's absolutely perfect in every way. But this is the thing that's wrong with her. She can't handle how mental I am. Actually, I'll tell you what, um, I will have a drink. No, oh, you'll have it. Take a seat, Brian. It's locked. Yeah, take that. You'll need it. You'll need that, boy. Burning lads. Oh, burning lad. We'd shook about half a kilo of hash into that joint that Burning Lad had, so everyone was getting pretty toasted anyway, you know? <laughs> we gathered round to smoke some weed. At Burning Lad, oh Burning Lad, oh Burning Lad. All right, Castle Town. Right, cool, let's see you the Queen. Jetside, where the fuck are you and where is Brian Kennedy? Jetside, as soon as you get this message, please call me. Simmer down, simmer down. We're nearly at the end of the day. Brian Kennedy's going to be here soon. He's just en route. Brian Kennedy hadn't turned up, so I was going to use Dirk and Brothers Band as my plan B. You know, not the actual plan B. It was pretty good, but just a shit plan B. Eddie Dirk and Brothers Band. I've had a lot of trouble with women in the past, so it was nice to see Dirk and get trouble from his woman, you know? And she does wear the trousers. Sexy, tight leather trousers, you know? So it's all right, it's just, I'll just fucking go. That's why you didn't want me here, is it? So you have your way around me with all these fucking sluts? You fucking maul in my beef those needle extensions out of your head, so I will. By the time 10 o'clock hit, I was spacing out in the back of the VIP tent, man. Didn't know what was going on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, here they are. Was How was the boys? How good was that? What a fucking gig, man. What a fucking headliner. Best fucking band I've seen all night, man. I've come up twice. Where's the cash for the gig that we just produced? Yeah, well, fucking thing about that is I actually don't have the money on me at the moment, like, you know? I put the takings of the day inside Stateside's car for safekeeping, you know? Stuck him inside the MacGuffin box. We you had a deal. Me. Where's I the cash? You. Where's the cash? Stateside's car. It's in Stateside's car. I don't know where he is. Terry Durkin doesn't fuck around, man, you know? He's not like his brother. He wanted his money, so we had to go to Stateside's gaff. 
Oh fuck, thank fuck. The car is here, man. The car is here, the money's in the car. Here we go, boys. Here we go, Oh, for us. Don't fucking work, man. The house, the house, he's in the fucking house. Nothing, and I mean nothing, could prepare me for what was about to unfold. Listen, just fucking keep a fucking head about you. Get stuck in, man, get stuck in. You always keep the fucking the door locked. Come on. It smelled so bad I couldn't even see. What was to happen inside Stateside's gaff would probably go down in the annals of time as one of the sickest sights I ever saw. No! The odour hit me like a smelly fist, you know? Yeah, it was like being punched by a fart. You alright, man? All right, get away from me! Fucking hell! Imagine a bale of silage twerking you. Fuck! Three o'clock in the morning, I got a text. Eddie said, come back to Statesides. Oh, Jim, what happened there, boys? <laughs> Why is he fucking crying? Are you in pain, are you? It's Eddie. Does it hurt your heart? <laughs> I was kind of happy in a weird way, yeah. Durkin's brother had stitched him up. Buzz's woman had walked out the gaff. Look at coots! Look that like. Ah, uh, don't worry, man. It's only your fucking blood who's done an absolute twist on you. But then I realised I'd lost all my money. And that was shit. So you okay, money again? You <laughs> have the money from... Put the message in the box Put the box into the car Drive the car round the See the way you're singing about the box in the car there, Brian? Yeah. Is that about Terry taking the box of money? No, like the song's at least 20 years old. Is that right? Yeah. Fair enough. We were of the moon, you know, we were delighted. I'm not a doctor, man, but that looks like... That's just a bit of cheesecake. Smoke a real fag, yeah, uh, fanny. No bar. We don't smoke indoors, do we? Saturday noon, you're a dead man. It was a bit underhanded how Buzz tricked me. If you think you're going to meet another girl like me, like, yeah, think again, she's dating you. Don't embarrass me on Saturday, hey. I need you to fight like men. <laughs> you're going around the town telling people, you're the king of that. You're the king of this. You're the king of that, shite! Right? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, lads? Honestly! Where is he, little rat? Crowbar, your dick, my mouth. Step up, boys! Oh, that is next Monday night at half ten here on two in the final episode, in fact, of the season. Next night, people in the Hardy Books would be loving to meet because they are shameless. Don't ever come down. Super dreams, dance, come up like a fucking sky boy.